Hi guys, so I said I'd just come on today and I'd talk to you a little bit about diastasis recti. So I'm just going to talk about what it is, who it affects, um, signs and symptoms of it and basically what not to do, particularly exercise wise and things like that. So um, basically what is a diastasis recti? So basically this is when the rectus abdominis muscle separates or partially separates. So this is like your six pack muscle and it separates. Um, so this is quite common in pregnant women, but it can also happen to some men, particularly if they're doing weightlifting in an incorrect way. So that's who it separate. That's who it affects. Um, there's a way for testing for this. So one of the ways is if you lie on your back, have your feet flat on the ground, so your knees are bent essentially. You're going to kind of put your fingers just above your deli belly button even, and you're just going to attempt a slight sit up. If your fingers fit right into that um kind of separation in your belly, then you have a diastasis recti. So your fingers are this way. That's not that way. It's this way. So you're putting that way on top of your belly, and um, if they sink into your belly, the separation, then you have a diastasis recti. If they don't, you're fine. Um, so it is very common among women who have had babies. So they would be the main people who would get it. But like I said, some men get it too. Signs and symptoms of this. So one of the big ones is a uh, leaky bladder, uh, constipation, lower back pain. Um, there's others as well. Let me just wait a second. A weak pelvic floor muscle. So all of these are kind of common among pregnancy. Um, but this, if it goes unnoticed, can leave long-term problems such as back pain. So it is worth doing that little mini test yourself just to see um, if it helps, basically. So also then um, another... Um, thing that you can do so basically what can help so basically physiotherapy and the pride exercises can help and um, good nutrition and exercises to realign the posture so basically exercises rehab physiotherapy and then some changes to your diet well what that'll do would be very little i'd imagine guys to be honest it might help you lose weight which i don't think that'll actually fix the problem but it's always a, it's always good to have nut good nutrition anyway and so here's the big one so i'm going to actually read this out because it's a bit of a list of exercises that you should not do and should avoid if you have been diagnosed with this so crunches planks um sit-ups abdominal twist exercises so that would be like um you know when you get the kettlebell and you are twisting from side to side so you're like this but you're lying on your back obviously and um, that's one of them uh leg lift exercises full push-ups and exercises on your hand and knees so that'd be like bird dog if anyone knows that one it's the one where your opposite arm and leg are kind of up at the same time so their exercise should avoid particularly um the sit-ups and the crunches and the planks well see what these exercises do is they put pressure on the abdomen that can cause what's supposed to be underneath the abdomen to kind of push its way out and that in turn can lead, lead to um, a hernia so they're kind of good to avoid them at the end of pregnancy it's also good to avoid them straight after having a baby and maybe for the first few weeks afterwards until you're fairly sure you don't have this problem um, and also for men if they're getting any of these symptoms check this out stop doing these exercises get advice on what you should and shouldn't do and then um it should fix itself over time it is something that can fix very quickly well not quickly but maybe in a few weeks like if you're doing your exercises it's it's amazing how quickly it can um resolve itself and then you can kind of go back to normal activities after that um so yeah if anyone has any pregnant or has any problems and particularly after pregnancy and um, get in contact if you've anything and you suspect you might have this or you're worried you might have this and um, get in contact with me guys and i can fit you in for an appointment and um, so thanks a million for watching guys and i hope you enjoyed and um, thanks again